Okay, now there are, first of all, there are three or four things you need to do in order to get ready to prepare your um, slideshow in iMovie. First off, what you want to do is go through and um, have your photos selected. So you basically, it would be a good idea probably to have um, a, a folder of photos selected and put in the order in which you want the slideshow to go so that uh, so when the time you come to iMovie they're already done I haven't done that here yet uh, I'm just going to use a smart folder of uh, photos of my son so I'm just going to randomly, randomly select these for this tutorial but it would be a good idea to if you really want to kind of get serious about it to already have your photos selected and put into a folder and then the next thing you want to do is, and this is the hardest thing I think, is, is finding the appropriate music with the right amount of beats or the appropriate amount of beats for your song. And um, you can get songs from iTunes or from, you know, um, GarageBand. There is um, under the um, music and sound effects um, feature or part of iMovie, there's a folder called iLife Sound Effects and you can go down to a folder called Jingles and click on that and these are pretty good start because many of these uh, songs or tunes if you will are um, you know two minutes long 30 seconds long that kind of thing and you don't really want your slideshow to be that long anyway so this is a good place to start if you want it longer you know go into iTunes and find a song for you I used for this tutorial the sideman strut so what I'm going to do is select that and you can just play it here and you can hear you know you can hear the songs before you um, actually you know drag them up into the uh, project window so we select uh, sideman strut and we're going to drag it up here and once it's up here you're going to select this little marker here and it says clip trimmer and you're going to select that and it's going to bring up the song and you can hear if you go through it you can hear this is the song here now the, the way they set up for you to do it well one way is to add your beat marker by taking by clicking this little musical note icon and you know you drop where you want the beats to be um, I found that to be very difficult to do so we're going to undo that and I'll say this, that the best way to do it is to um, use the M key to add markers. So as the song or the tune is playing, you know, you want to kind of add the markers like you're tapping your foot. So when you kind of feel a change or a beat, you know, you press the M key. Now you can get very frustrated trying to be, you know, overly overly uh, precise about adding these markers I, again I think you just kind of let it flow add it to like you know you, you're tapping your feet and just go with that and see if it works for you so let's try it out So that's it. Now, once you're done, you want to you know, just click the done button here. Close the Clem trimmer up. You also want to make sure when you go to the next step that when you go to view, it says snaps to beats. Make sure that that is selected in here in your in your iMovie because if you don't, it won't break it up as well. All right. After you do that, you're going to go to your uh, find your photos, and again, we're just going to select a bunch of them here. Uh, and we're going to drag them up to the top and let go. And I have 105, which is kind of a lot. So I probably should, let me go back and see if I can cancel that. Let's put, uh, let's undo that. And let's probably only need about 30 or so. All right. Now let's do it again. So basically what iMovie is going to do is it's going to import these uh, photos into the project and it's going to split them up according to the beat markers in which you added to the song. 
and this is really a great time saver uh, because it's very difficult to do otherwise if you if you did it manually okay and so you got that done and then so you, you notice that it splits it up according to your beat marker so let's just kind of play it and see how it comes out <laughs> All right, now, so it does a really good job of just pretty much, you know, switching, you know, editing the uh, the photos according to the beat markers. And you can still go back and adjust some of the um, panning effects, the Ken Burns can panning effects, by simply just clicking on the little asterisk and go to Ken Burns and do the uh, adjusting the Ken Burns like you would normally do when you're working in an iMovie project. You can also, another good thing is, say you don't want to use that particular photo, you can go back into your um, photo section and you can grab a photo and just put it over the top and it will give you an uh, option to either, you know, to replace, insert, cut away, picture within a picture. Well, of course, what you want to do is just replace that photo here and it will replace it and still keep it in according to the to the breakup of the beat. And so there you go. And then once you're done, I mean, you can make adjustments. You can even move these markers around a little bit, but I wouldn't do it. I would pretty much just kind of, I just, again, I wouldn't get too, too precise with it. Just kind of let it go with the flow. And after that, you can, you can also add in some um, transitions at the beginning or the end of your, uh, project that that makes it makes it better for you as well as well as uh, adding in titles but again that's how it works it's a really good fun feature in iMovie it's one that's kind of hidden and not talked about a lot but play around with it and see how it works for you if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section of this article thanks <laughs>